Hello world, welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and today we're taking a listen to the Keeley Fuzzbender, the intro jam that I had going on. Everything went through this bass guitars. I am going to go through what it is and what it does, and I'm going to try it on the guitar, and then I'm going to play it with the bass, and maybe even try a synth through it. So we'll see. I have the description of the pedal up on the screen right now, so you can take a look at Keeley's description and all that fun stuff while I go through this. So let's let's see. We have your level, obviously. You have your fuzz, which is the amount of distortion fuzz. You have a bias knob, so from the left it's going to be a normal style fuzz, I guess. And then the further right, the more sputtery it will get, the more uh, Velcro-ish it will get. Then on the bass and treble knobs, you have 20 dB of gain, which is a lot. And and you'll you'll hear it. It's not a subtle 20 dB of gain. It's, it's a good curve. Um, they say they use gyrators for that. I have no idea what that means, but does it really matter? Shit sounds tight, son. Um, so let's try it out. Uh, and right now I have it... I'm going to put everything at 12 actually so let's just try 12 first and then i'll mess around and before i start that my clean channel i am going through a marshall jvm 410 head into an ox box with some kind of marshall cabinet i don't remember which one it is so but this is what it sounds like <laughs> I'm not trying to play Rooster, I just, uh, whatever. Oh, and this is a Depento Custom. Um, it's got noiseless humbucker pickups. Here's everything at noon. And you, you can hear, it's already like kind of gated. Kind of, it's close to the Shields Blender um, and, and the sputtery thing that it does. Um, what else does it kind of reminds me of a fuzz face? And they say they have germanium and silicon in here. So, uh, you know, whatever the hell that all means, you know what I mean? I just turn the knobs until I, until I hear what I like. So let's uh, mess with the bias. So all the way to the left, it's supposed to be a typical fuzz and you don't have that gate thing happening. All right, so, you know, you get some kind of like mud honey kind of tones, I feel. Um, which is awesome if you're into early 90s stuff. Late 80s, early 90s stuff, actually. So, let's uh, mess with the other side. This is the bias all the way, and you'll notice now it's got like that Velcro-y uh, Rolling Stone. Don't sue me, all right? I know they like, I know you old bands like the Sioux people. <laughs> I kid, I kid. No, they really do. Let's turn it back over all the way again. And now I'm gonna start messing with the EQs. So the low end is going to change dramatically. So watch this. So 
Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm not blasting my converters. <laughs> So many different tones already that you can get out of this pedal and it's all kind of a garage rock grungy type of thing that you're gonna get you're not gonna use this pedal for modern metal or you could but you know so now I got the bass and the treble all the way up let's see if it takes my head off oh, not too bad Now that I have that up, let's try it with the bias all the way up. And that's pretty cool because you get that glitchy kind of fuzz, sputtery, and then if you're the type that doesn't want feedback, you know, you can stop in the middle of those kind of little leads and stuff and you don't have to worry about it because it's gated. Now, I wouldn't know right now because I'm not in front of a cabinet, but I don't think you're going to get it. But see, you hear this? Now all right and then let's go back i'm gonna bring this back and let's try the fuzz like low So I feel like this is like probably a really good pedal for Neo Psychedelica, like some stoner, lo-fi stoner kind of stuff. And then, you know, you have like every, you have everywhere in between. So this could be good for shoegaze stuff as well.
right, bass all the way up, treble all the way down, fuzz all the way down, and bias all the way to the right for the Velcro-y glitchy thing. <laughs> Now let's try the fuzz all the way up. Well, we're living on the edge today. Let's try that same type of thing, but with the bias all the way back. See if the chords uh, have a little bit more clarity. the volume back with the uh, bias to the left and fuzz all the way up see if it cleans up All right, so I still have it rolled back and now I'm gonna turn the bias back and you're gonna hear it break up even more now. So you can get into that kinks territory or Beatles revolution territory, um, stuff like that. So, yo, I don't know if I would use this for shoegaze, possibly. <laughs> So now I got them reversed, same uh, non-lid, into the fuzz this time.
and he messes up. No big deal. No big deal. If you don't mess up, are you really playing? I don't think so. All right, so we have the base. It's a Fender Jag wire from Japan. I love this base. We have it's noisy, but I love it. Um, we have it hooked up to my wife's Ampeg SVT3 Pro. Line out going into the console. Um, nothing like no EQ or anything. Just just using it for level and all that stuff. But here's what it sounds like. I am playing with a pick because I am not the best bass player. So that's what it sounds like. Fuzz all the way up. All right, so let's try it with the fuzz back quite a bit. Let's try it with the bias all the way to the right. I'm gonna put the, the Pro Tools uh, session on the screen because you can see the difference in the waveform even though there's less low end I don't know everything looks really crazy so uh, let's try it in the middle and I do let's have the treble all the way back I kind of like that. So let's add some bass to that. Actually, that's probably the my favorite so far because it's smoother. So this is the bass all the way up. Let's try that with the fuzz all the way up again. It definitely has more sub in there now. Um, I have a subwoofer in here so I can hear it. If you don't, get one. <laughs> so you can hear those low lows. Woo, that's too much. Too much. 
Just a little bit. Just a little bit of that trouble goes a long way when we're when we have the fuzz all the way up on this particular bass. So when the bias is all the way to the left, then you can add more, I mean, for my taste, I can add more treble and it's not as death con. I think it sounds pretty awesome. And again, there's a variety of sounds that you can get with this pedal, um, you know, on the source that you're using it for. So let's try it with a synth next. All right, so we have the micro Korg hooked up. I am going to go through a few sounds and just experiment with it. So here we go. This first one's like a... Pretty cool. All right, let's try something else. Something with chords? Sure. Start with the fuzz down low. Pretty crazy with the chord, but pretty awesome for a lead. All right, let's try something else.
know what I mean? Do some uh, scary hip hop, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Smells like Spock spirit. I don't know. Kind of like if Kurt Cobain was in Star Trek. There you go. All right. So this probably will be cool for a lead. Let's try it. So I just wanted to go through a few different instruments just to share with you guys the different things you could do with just this fuzz pedal and whatever you're playing through it. Um, I think it's a killer pedal. I'm not sure it's for everyone, um, but if you're into annihilating things or lo-fi-ish, grunge, you know, retro, classic rock uh, garage rock and the like, then, you know, I think it's worth the consideration. It's a simple pedal to use. I think, you know, you don't have too many things to, to mess with and given the right guitar, the right amp, the right band, it's probably, you know, going to kick ass. So anyway, if you got anything out of this, subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. I will be doing all sorts of stuff on this channel, whether it's guitar pedals, pro, pro audio stuff, mixing, mastering, camera stuff, and anything that is uh, creative. Anything that, you know, is of the creative mind. So all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.